everyone, Joel Answer today. I'm in Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida outside. Aranzo, Aranzo, uncommon Italian. Here to do a big burrito challenge, an Italian burrito, believe it or not. So what is an Italian burrito? Well, Italian burrito, believe it or not, is full of pasta, like spaghetti. So in this burrito, we have like spaghetti, caprese, and something else. I'm gonna give the exact details, but it's a couple different types of spaghetti noodles with different sauces, all kinds of interesting things. I think it's like the majority of the actual Italian burritos they offer on the menu, so it's super cool. I know we do 30 minutes to complete the burrito. It is a $60 price tag, um, but free of complete. I think we also get a sweet t-shirt, but it's definitely a big burrito. Um, there's lots of like different cheeses, and I'm gonna get the exact whatever's inside, but anyway, let's head into this fun. So yeah, really unique. I mean, uh, Italian burrito, never had pasta on a burrito before let me know if you have or have ever heard of something like down below right now pasta on a burrito yes or no anyway let that let's head in have fun let's go eat food and uh, yeah we're in midtown midtown area tampa whatever it is so let's go eat everybody so here are with the tour of italy the massive massive burrito so we have their chicken parm with a pesto chicken parm with a cream sauce and then we have the meatball parm which is like a palmador which is kind of like a tomato based sauce and the meatball and the spaghetti so spaghetti then we move into a san gennaro which is a farro kind of like italian grain also um, some uh, like sausage in there then we also then have a bit of like a caprese. So we have chicken, farro, uh, again, like, I think there's like balsamic, and then a traditional caprese, which is really fresh. We're talking like tomato, basil, kind of like, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, guys, like Italian favorites in a burrito with a whole bunch of cheeses on top. This is a baked burrito. And this thing, you guys have to realize, this is what you don't, like pasta and whatever is so dense. This is a baby. Arguably could probably be used as a weapon. Uh, that is a that is a piece of food, I'll put it that way. So looks can be deceiving. Let's just say this thing is massive. We did weigh it. It's like seven plus pounds. Absolutely insane. So anyway guys, wish me luck. A lot of food. So let's get eating. 30 minutes, not a lot of time, definitely a lot of food. Who would have known you could see all of Italy in 30 minutes? Well guys, Aronzo you can. Oh, I also, by the way, got some more of their uh, creme of the cream sauce, some more of the pesto, and some more of the uh, kind of tomato-ish sauce here, should I want them. But anyway, how about we get, oh my gosh. This is huge. This is like, this is, oh man, this is gonna be a tough one. I'm probably gonna start with the uh, caprese side, get some health, not to mention all the tortillas on this. Anyway, how we start, we'll say uh, three, maybe two, one, let's eat. Mmm. Oh my god. Woo! Let me see how I show you this. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Chicken. Cheese. Oh my god. Huge. Mmm. Oh wow. Tomato and basil. Very fresh. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Aranzo taking on their Tour of Italy Burrito Challenge. So this was such a unique burrito being it was a pasta burrito. Um, an Italian burrito. Hey, but you learn new things every day and this was definitely a learning curve for me. I didn't know a pasta in a burrito was a thing nor did I know that there is such thing as an Italian burrito aka just a burrito filled with pasta but here we are nonetheless. So very interesting item but a really unique and actually really tasty item. So let's talk about it here. I'm getting into some of the uh, the farro, the grain and the chicken. Very very nice flavor. Very, very fresh, which I love. I love that so far. So Ronzo made all their own sauces and actually made their own noodles and stuff. And I will say the flavors and the textures were really, really delicious all in this burrito. And the fact they make everything here, it's super impressive. Let's see if I can bust into this. I don't know if it's better to rip it or take it bit by bit. This off. I can mean, see the uh, crab going a little farther. Get into the sausage. 
I really enjoyed having the caprese, like kind of the veggie, uh, pesto, etc., in it because it was absolutely delicious. And then as we were getting into the noodles, I knew that's when things were going to become a lot more difficult um, as it's just heavy. I mean, just imagine you're having like compressed, dense pasta, literally compressed in there like a freaking brick. Um, you know, wrapped in a tortilla. So definitely no shortage of carbs, no shortage of calories, but this was a really cool item. And I would think like, you know, if you're into that Instagram-y, you know, unique food fusion, trying a normal size burrito like this definitely would help satisfy that desire of yours. And I mean, I gotta say, it was tasty. What else is actually like in a caprese? Caprese is farro, chicken, tomatoes, um, fresh mozzarella, Very delicious. So the burrito did weigh in at over seven pounds and being with a 30 minute time limit, I would say it's a very high level intermediate or expert level challenge. The only reason why it kind of reaches that intermediate category is everything was quite moist and burritos are generally easy to eat. This is where things get interesting. This is a mountain of spaghetti and pasta. Look at this guys. Spaghetti burrito. Who would have thought? But let's give this a shot. I think we're about coming on, what are the three, 340 and something like that. You know guys, spaghetti in a burrito. Let me know if you would like spaghetti in a burrito down below. Let's give it a shot. Mm. You know what? It's actually really good. What an interesting item. Sorry. Music fits perfectly. Al Dante. And they make their noodles here, which is absolutely insane. So the tomato, they make the sausage too. Mm. Ooh, nice bit of acidity in that sauce. But then that's pretty much the majority of the information. Again, we were hoping for that free burrito, that free meal. And like I said, this was a heck of a unique item. Although I gotta ask you, cause this is a very, very debatable topic. What do you prefer on your pasta? Do you like a red sauce or do you like a white sauce? Or I guess technically if you like a bit of both, you could put a rosé. So let me know in the comments down below whether you're team red, team white, or team rosé. In the middle. You know what I'm saying? So with that everybody, let's uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's tune in and see what happens. Alright, we're moving into the whew, chicken and crema. I was getting the meatball parm down. Look at this, how solid this is. Just stands there by itself, guys. Burritos stand on their edge, apparently like coffee cups. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. I just got a bite of that cream sauce. Oh my gosh, that is good. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's more of it. You guys make that cream sauce? That is so good. <laughs> it is so good. Mm. Shout out the cream sauce. Woo! 
all the parmesan and everything in there. And then, we have, we're getting out of the pesto here in a second. Right. Chicken parm and pesto. Very, very, very floral. Basil, some cheese in there. Whew. A lot of food, everybody, a lot of food. It's a little bit chilly, everybody. Oh my gosh. Whew. There's a lot of everything in there. Right, but I think we're 11 and a half minutes in. Woo! Into burritos and chill. Big burrito, that's for sure. Really cool out of the variety though. And definitely first time I ever saw a spaghetti burrito. Woo! Then some shrapnel. Ugh.
we are finished. Oh my gosh. Whew. I think somewhere around uh, maybe like 12, 45, something like that. That's done, right? Yeah? Yeah. Woo! All right, guys. So, yeah, that was really, 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 really unique. I got to say, never have I had a spaghetti burrito. I got to say, so my favorite, I was like, what, five, 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 six different kinds in there? I think my two favorites, 100%, were the chicken parm with the crema. They make that sauce here. That is fantastic. Excuse me, comes to chef. Love the flavor of it. It is just so rich, it's so creamy. I, that would be delicious both, well, obviously, on the noodles, in the burrito, but off the burrito as well. And is that the, the sauce that has the truffle on it on the other, in the rendition? Oh my lord, guys, truffle and freaking cream sauce. Woo -hoo -hoo. I love me some truffles. Um, and then the uh, caprese over here. Man, that was so like fresh, it was delightful. It was, it felt, this sounds set, set, makes sense, like it felt really healthy and like just so fresh, delightful. I loved it. Just the basil, the tomatoes, the cheese, the flavors. That was amazing. Those were my two favorites. But guys, that was a good burrito. Definitely sizable, very, very, very heavy. Incredibly dense, especially when you got to all the all noodle side. But anyway, guys, that was awesome. Uh, so before that, we do get the burrito for free. I think it's about a 60-ish dollar burrito for free. Um, and uh, yeah, I have no complaints. So really, really cool. I would definitely recommend coming down by and trying one of their pasta burritos or the Caprese burrito, kind of the Italian burrito. That's what this place is, well, one kind of really well known for. In addition to, which is absolutely insane, the completely made from scratch kitchen, which is like in such a quick serve order, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the average meal, they said takes like five minutes. So the fact that they cook the sauce here and the fact that they make all the noodles here, like daily, is insane. And the fact that it tastes all so good is absolutely insane. The fact that you can get good tasting Italian cuisine at an affordable price in like five minutes is also even more insane. So anyway guys, super cool. I'm not gonna lie, they have some really cool items on the menu. I'm gonna have a quick peek at it. Maybe I'll try like one or two more bites, but otherwise I'm about to explode. Um, so I, I asked what I need to try, and they said this is what I gotta try. So I have a tomato basil soup, apparently one of the staff favorites actually, um, which is awesome. And then I have the cannoli crisps. So this looks absolutely delicious, it sounds delicious. So this is kind of like a, dessert chip and dip. So you got your cannoli kind of chips, and then you have a cannoli kind of creamy ricotta dip. So that sounds fantastic. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I love me cannolis, I love me some dessert. Try this uh, tomato basil soup. So definitely some tomatoes, some tomatoes, some cream in here as well. Basil, what do you expect? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Mm. That is like flavor. There is so much going on here. You get the lovely acidity of that tomato cross with that cream. Gives you this like sharp punch and then this balance. I really like that. Mm. That is very, very, very delicious. Now let's try the cannoli crisps. Guys, this looks really, really cool. Apparently there's only like 200 and some calories in this as well, so I appreciate that because there's a lot more calories in that burrito, let's put it that way. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Dip it on in that cannoli cream, those little chocolate chips in there. <laughs> smells good. You really do get that cannoli aspect. What I like about having them separate here is a lot of times you have a cannoli and they've been sitting with the cream in them already become soggy. This isn't soggy at all. It is, you have the crispiness of that crisp chip, whatever it is. You get the lovely, lovely creamy texture. It's not an overly sweet dessert either. So if you're not a big like sweet person, you'd like this. I officially need a nap. I'll put it that way. But like I said, everybody, a huge thanks to everybody here. The staff were awesome. Thank you. Thank you. The people, our patrons here have been awesome. And the food was awesome, so no complaints. Uncommon Italian. I dig. So yeah, with that everybody, know where to come on by. 
That was cool. Don't sleep on that soup. Don't sleep on that caprese burrito. Don't sleep on the cannoli crisp. And I'm actually gonna leave this time, so have a lovely day, everybody. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.